Hey there, how are you today? Hope you're doing good on the New Year's Day 2020. Welcome to the replay viewers and welcome to the live viewers. About to make a follow up call. Really, not even a follow up call, it's a follow up to the follow up. Matter of fact, I'll take this thing off. Hope you're having yourself a great last day of 2019 going into 2020. What up, Terminator Tez? How you doing? I'm about to call this lady back. Um, this was the house. I don't know if you saw the live the other day when um, we went through and I asked a bunch of questions. I went and actually saw her the day before Christmas. I actually sent her an email offer, which I need to pull up and have ready because I don't remember what I sent her an offer on. And she said she wants to actually uh, see if we can work a deal out. She said she had questions. I sent her the multiple offer strategy like my bro House by Brian like to do. I sent her a lowball cash offer. I sent her a terms offer. If she would take terms, I sent her a lease option offer. And I sent her a option just to say we'll list the house for you with the real estate agent. So I'm about to give her a call right now and see what we can do. What's up, Vision X? Yeah, so we're about to call her and see what's up. She got questions about probably the terms. I don't know. Matter of fact, you want to see the offers I gave her? <laughs> she, I offered her 82.5 for cash. I offered her 139 on terms. They'll take a note. And then I offered her just a lease option is an option three. And then I offered her a, to list the house. They don't want to list it, I don't think. But the house has been vacant for like three years. So I'm about to try it out and see if we can uh, pull a stunt. So if you can, go ahead and share this mug out to somebody who need to know about this real estate stuff. That would be great of you. Share it out if you carry it out. So let's see if we can get them on the phone. Hope you're having yourself a great day. You say, well, now can I get with you about setting up a trust? Sure. A trust. It's actually on my website at wokerealestate.com. All the documents you need to set up a trust is at wokerealestate.com. Matter of fact, here, I had to put this on here too. I almost forgot. Pin comment. Get the free JV agreement by texting JV to 31996. What's up, Mary? So I'm about to get on the phone with this lady and see what she's talking about. She says she got questions about my offer. Let's see if we can get her on the phone. Hmm. Let's call Miss Barbara. I don't have her notes here from what I told her on the phone, but I kind of remember most of it. So hopefully that works out. Let's see here. We're going to call her from the pretty house line. We're going to record the call. We're going to call from there. And boom, let's get her on the phone. What up? What up? Real estate old school. What up, Rick? Let's get on the phone with this seller. They must be motivated just a little bit. Share it out. Share it out. Let's see what she's saying. Spooky. What's up, Maxine? How she gonna text me then not answer? Most people do this stuff all the time. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Hi, Barbara. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, because I'm on the gas. Happy New Year to you. That's right. I told you. I got to tell you first before anybody else. Even though it's tomorrow, I got to tell you Happy New Year first. <laughs> Oh, no problem. Yeah, what kind of questions did you have for me? Yeah, 
yeah, no problem. So basically, uh, uh, on a terms type deal, we would buy the house. We would actually close through a real estate attorney. Everything is, is closed up just the same way as option one, a cash deal would be. The only thing is we would ask for a period of time to get you paid off in full. Uh, we can actually get you a higher purchase price, as you can see on there. But if we were to buy the house that way, uh, we would be responsible for all the maintenance and repairs, the updates to get the house up and running, and uh, get it, uh, you know, and we'll get it cashed out in some time in the near future. So we just ask for a little bit of time. So that's why we can pay a little more money on it because we're not putting all the money up front into the deal. We would just uh, buy the house over a period of time. Does that make sense to you? That makes sense. Who owns, who has clear title to the house while the house is being paid up over time? We would actually take title to the house. We would actually close through a real estate attorney. You would get a documentation. They would uh, write up the paperwork so that you're protected in the deal. You would have a, uh, a note or a lien just like the bank would have to basically say that you have the rights to the house in the event that we wasn't able to make payments or something crazy in the future. Even though that wouldn't happen, but you would be protected in the deal totally so where you would always have something to come back to. Yeah, that would be no problem. Yeah, we, 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 uh, like I said, we close the deal through a real estate attorney. Your attorney can look at it, whatever you want. The whole thing is we just have to agree on some type of terms if you wanted to do that option. Now, if you were more, uh, interested in the cash offer, we can do that. That's pretty easy. That's clean, cut, and dry. We can get this thing wrapped up for you. What did you think about the cash offer? Was that good for you? No, that's not good because we got, we got, uh, uh, Oh, okay. I'm looking at, I'm looking, that's not a good offer at all. So, uh, the, the, the second, the second one is from 139,900. What is that over, that over a six month period? What, what are the terms of that, uh, uh, payment plan? Yeah, so basically that's something we would have to work out with uh, you and the other decision makers that's on it. Um, do you have an idea about how long you could possibly give? What's the longest you could give? Uh, so basically what we would do, um, like I said, we would set that up. It's just more so making sure that we agree with everything between us buying it and you selling it. So long as we can uh, work out all the details such as, um, you know, the, the length of time. And usually we do something like, you know, the, I can't even remember the last time we did something less than 10 years. But that's not saying we have to do that. We could do less than that possibly. It just depends on the situation. Would you consider something like that? I don't know. If we, uh, I don't know about that because we have never encountered that. That's why. Um, that's why we're trying to get more information. So we not been able. We can't really down any any offers that you're making us because we don't. We not. We not clearly understanding it. That's why we're having this conversation. But you talking about a length of time of ten years? No. And giving you complete full clear title of the property for that long. How is that? How would that even be done? That doesn't. That even doesn't. Only thing it does is takes the tax burden off. Of the house is clean, 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 uh, clean, has clear title to it. Only thing we do is pay the taxes. Yeah. So that. So yeah. It has to be, uh, you know, advantageous for us. Yes, I definitely understand that. So it would be advantageous to you all because you would basically have to not do anything with the house whatsoever. Like I said, we would close on the house. You would actually be protected in the deal because it wouldn't be a clear title for us. You would be acting basically as the bank. So you would basically just be, uh, you would receive a payment every month for the property for that period of time until paid off or until it's uh, safe for us. You know, so, you know, that's why we just okay. gave you those multiple options so you can decide which one will work best for you all. No, no, because we've had, we, we've had more close to option number two for all cash offers. So, no, that, that, that's not, uh, the 82000 is, that, that uh, uh, offer number one is not even, we're not even considering that. I need to know about 
this this term agreement, and we could let our 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 attorney look at the provisions of the term agreement. But what are you thinking? Are you thinking a more any something uh, greater than a year time? Uh, 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 when you talk about over time, you, you better recoup your money because I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You don't have a house six feet between uh, 45 and 90 days. You're going to rent it out and you're going to make the surplus of money because you've already got built in equity into the house. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what it is because we're going to put that approximate. I, I know the deal. Now, let, now, now make it, make it, make it. Make it advantageous for the sale to be to, to to do that. You know, one thirty nine, man, honey, you mm -mm. So my my thing is that you know you talking about time. What you say? You say more than a year. You say five years. I don't know what you're doing. Yes, ma'am. So that's exactly what it is. Because, you know, there is a price to money. And so we can actually pay more for it if you were to able to give us a little bit of time on it so that we can actually get the property fixed up, stabilized, uh, get it occupied, you know, so that there's actually a stream of income coming in and we would make money on it. We're in the whole deal to make money. There's no question about that. And so we can get you more money and us more money by buying a house on in this creative way on terms. But like I said, you would be protected in the deal because you would actually have a promissory note or a lien actually placed on a property. It wouldn't be free and clear on us. We would still be liable to pay you every month until we paid it off in full or until the time we agreed to. Well, who we is. Because we have to understand that whoever you say we is is capable of paying off the amount. Whoever the we is, whoever you represent, if you represent yourself, if you represent a real estate company, we will need to know who that entity is that we're entering into an agreement with. Yeah, so it would be with us. It would be with our company. We would actually buy the house. We would take title to it. You would have a promissory note and a lien, like I said. They would place that on a property so that just like if in the event we didn't pay for some reason, God forbid, you will be able to foreclose and take your property back if you had to. But we would never get to that point because we're going to put approximately $100,000 in the repairs to get the house fixed up. So we're going to... No, you would not have to do anything other than collect payments every month. You would not have to deal with any maintenance or repairs of the house. You wouldn't have to deal with tenants, toilets, or termites, or anything dealing with the house. All you would do is collect the check and be happy to receive it. So we make it pretty simple and pretty easy for you. It's just an option. You know, it's just another option that, you know, that could work. Uh, so, so do you? What do you? How do you feel about that price of one thirty nine? Do you think that's something that's that's realistic for you? No, we we don't have to negotiate that because you know what? I'm gonna tell you, and you already know. You already know the deal. You've been doing it, even though you've been doing it for a short time. We both know. We both do our homework. So you already know that uh, you go, you go, you know how how much it's going. We have a timeline as to how much it's going to take you to fix up the house. So the house is not going to have any downtime. You're not going to have to pay for that because you, 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 that house is considered under construction. So my issue would be that once you put the equity in the house, and if there's any reason that you, you have been delinquent in payments, and we have to move the foreclosure, which is going to take us money to get a lawyer to, to, to get you down to, 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 to even eat uh, uh, wood by me. No, in the, in the event, like I said, say the market shifts like it did in 07, 08, or something happened in the future that you or I can't see for any reason, if you were able to take that house back, you would just take the house back as is and you would own it. It wouldn't have anything to do with what repairs we did or any of that. That's our loss. We would lose that $100,000 that we put into fixing up that house. That would be our loss.
kids and all the entity who is actually buying the house. A little bit after we search the entity, all the companies that is buying the house to determine whether they have the, the, the capability to buy the house. Yeah, that's no problem. So you already have our... Yeah, no problem. So you actually have the uh, our company information. I sent you our website and all of that stuff already. Um, did you get a chance to look over our website? Uh, that, is, that, is that the company? Is that the entity who would be the uh, buyer? The purchaser? St. Louis Cash Bars, that's correct. Okay. Now, okay. Because obviously, we, if we have the capacity, so we can put us out there. The claim, the, the claim agreement, because you're going to make the 139,900 in your rental, so my name is there, depending on if you can get us to go, how long you can, can face this out of my claim agreement. But it's not going to be, we're not going to ask for you to, uh, you, you don't have to do, you don't have to claim that ever within a short amount of time. So we would be, we would have to discuss that. Yeah, that's no problem. And also, I did want to give the option to you as well. In the event, you can always put me on with the three-way with them, and I can answer any of their questions, any of your questions, and see if we can uh, resolve okay. all of this pretty easily. Okay. Uh, the, the, the third one... Um Uh, we would put it on. Uh, we would get one of our brokers. I'm not sure which one to be right now. We work with several, but I we would get you that information okay. if that's something you wanted. Okay, what's the fact? What's the fact, too? You know that, like what's I said, I, I can I can have them actually give you that information. I don't want to speak out of my because I'm not a licensed agent, so I don't talk about that stuff. I try to get the I'm person who actually does that I, to I, deal I, with I, it. So I try to give you so factual information. Okay. So, um, so the MLS, would that, uh, if they're listening, we would still have to show it, we would still have to, I would, we would still have to do anything. No. But you get the, you get the option of being the middleman person. Yeah, so uh, in that event, if you wanted to list that property, um, you wouldn't have to do anything other than, we, you know, we would complete the paperwork, uh, say that we agreed to this listing fee or whatever the commission is, and uh, we would actually put it up on the MLS, list that property for you, and get it sold for you, and, you know, get you know you wouldn't have to do anything. You wouldn't have to show the property. We handle all of that stuff in-house. Any one of those options that I sent you on that email, you don't have to do anything but agree to it on the paperwork and, and let us do our thing. We just go to work. We don't, you don't have to do anything with any of those options there. So all of this is about relieving the stress from you and the family there. We want to make sure that this is a win-win situation where you're not worried about the house at all. You don't have to go over there and show it to people. You don't have to deal with a lot of people or problems or anything. You know, we, we will go through you as far as, you know, if somebody made an offer, if it's something you would accept or not, if you were able to, you know, get a house you know, on the MLS, but like I said, that's something that we put into a whole separate department that I don't personally deal with, but I know that's how it works, if that's an option that you wanted. But so, so the MLS, we wouldn't know what we would do, but I know we would do how we would, I'm looking, we, our family is something. Yeah, we will list it. We don't know what the marketplace will do. The marketplace is the only defining thing that corrects us all. You, me, and everybody else. We don't know. The marketplace is going to tell us what somebody's willing to pay for something. Okay. Because we understand that I'm uh, approaching you from a private, a private uh, agreement, from a private sale. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
um, as long as we work out the details. So for any of these options, we just have to outline what, what we agree to, and then we put it on paperwork. We send it over. You review it. If you like it, you sign off on it, or um, you, know, you and uh, whoever the other family member is, you all agree to it, and we start the process from there. It's really simple. So for the lease option... So with the lease with the option to buy uh, option on there, basically uh, we have a program where we work with people who are trying to actually qualify for loans right now but can't qualify due to maybe time on the job, maybe their credit score isn't high enough, maybe they have a debt-to-income ratio issue, whatever it is. But with a little time with working with us where we get them qualified, we put them in, get everything situated to where we can actually get them qualified to get their own loan in a, in a period of time. So we just ask for a little bit of time on something like that. And that's just one of the programs we work to actually get your house sold quickly without you having to do anything to the property at all. Like I say, we take responsibility for everything once we agree to everything. Uh, you don't have to do anything other than, you know, let us do our thing. Pretty simple. And so that's the thing. So that's we just need a little bit of time to get you more a higher purchase price if that's something you would consider. It's just an option, like I said, and we may be able to come up a little bit on that cash offer as well. If that, you know, if, I don't know. You said you had something closer to it. What, what, what did you get as far as a cash offer on it already? So they already somebody offered you one forty on for cash for it already. We think we can get the house for much higher. We think we think we we know we run the, we run the comps. The lot comps that are close to that number. We made the comps with the adjustments. Once you put in what you want to the house, you go and you go make that. change the whole outlay of the inside of that house. We're going to change the flow of it so that it flows better on the inside. You, you are taking some risk, but you don't know what you, what you do when you get into it. And we'll make it up. We'll make it up. We'll make it up. I know it. 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 I know Right. I understand that. And that's, and that's why I said I just want to make sure everybody's happy with everything. That's the biggest thing with us. Um, I could check and see. I mean, what, what did you have in mind? Is What is the lowest you can take on the price if we could agree on terms? That's no problem. And like I said, the best thing to do in real life is really to just get us on a three-way or something, or I can even come and meet you if I need to, and we can actually, I can answer all of their questions that way, because putting all that pressure on you is too much, Barbara. I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to have all that pressure on you, and they ask you all these questions. You're like, I don't know, and I can just answer the question and tell them the answer to what they, you know, need. Okay. So we know, we know the entity buyers, we need a 
because my, my lawyer is asking that, who is the buyer? And I said, I don't know who the buyer, the current buyer so, is. So for right now, we'll... So for right now, we'll say that the buyer is St. Louis Cash Bars. Now, we may take it in uh, into a, a separate entity if we need to, because some properties we may have to put in a separate entity depending on what we're doing on it, or depending on the situation. But for right now, St. Louis Cash Bars would be the buyer. Okay. So, yeah. It's, it, and like I say, either way, you're protected in the deal anyway. There would be a lien placed on the house. So it's not like, you know, we can just run off and take the house or something crazy or anything like that. Everything's documented and closed through a real estate attorney, so everybody's protected in the deal. Hmm. Okay. Because you're going to turn that house into a matter of days. You have that house done by March. So that's going to do it. Did you have any other questions or anything for me for now? That's it, Chris. Thank you for your time. I'm going to go back to my family now and just going to talk it through. All right. We're going to get back with you sometime during the new year. Sure will. That'll be great. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, okay, enjoy, you, you enjoy your New Year's uh, celebration and don't be out there shooting those guns tonight. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay, do something now. All right. You too. Bye bye. Boom! What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. What's up, Maxine? Yeah, Barbara on here getting kind of uppity. I know you can do more. I know the game. Man, y'all trying to play a game, man. And that was too high. I don't want to be at 139. I just threw that out there to pique their interest. I want to be lower than that. Especially on terms. This house needs about $100,000 worth of work. But it's in a great area. Great area. Uh, I think the house is worth maybe about $280, $290, somewhere in there. Uh, fixed up. It's the biggest house in the area. Um, she want, Well, they never told me what they wanted. I offered her. What did I offer this lady? Eighty nine or something like that? Or eighty two thousand? Something cheap. You know, cash. I'm going cheap because like I said, they need about a hundred thousand dollars worth of work. And uh, you know, on a cash deal, we can make this thing happen. I can go up a little bit. I can actually get up to probably close to a hundred on a cash deal. That's why I kept asking her that. So I offered her eighty two five cash, then I offered one thirty nine nine on a terms deal. So they like that terms. They're like, Ooh, I like that. How was that work? And you know, I really don't want to do it on terms, to be honest. I'd rather do the cash wholesale deal because I'm not taking it down. I already got a buyer for it. So, you know, you know how that go. Got two buyers interested in it. But uh we'll see. Barbara knows the deal. That's how it is. So if you haven't already, share this out. Hit that little share button down there. And if you haven't already, get that free JV agreement. Text JV to 31996. Check that keyword JV to 31996. You'll get the free JV agreement. Been giving that out as a New Year's present to everybody. Any questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Don't forget, next Monday night, we'll be on with, uh, let's see, who we're going to be on with? Gia the House Goddess. You might follow her on Instagram here. G of the House God is going to be on next Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. The following week, we'll be on with House Bond Brian, talking about multiple offer strategies and things like that. So we got some good streams coming up for you here in 2020. What do we got? We've been on here almost 30 minutes, time to wrap this party up. So hopefully you have yourself a great new year. Come in swinging. Get on that phone. See if they home. I'm finna get back on here. I already did some uh, cold calling today myself. My, I let my virtual assistants be off because it's actually 2020 there already. Yeah, it's already 2020 there. They just celebrated. They're like 13 hours ahead in the Philippines. So they're already in 2020. We late, but we great. So talk to y'all on the next time. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace out, family.